Hey everyone, Cruising with JT here and today I'm beyond excited to share a full cruise ship tour of Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas, the world's largest and newest cruise ship. Are you ready? Here we go! Be sure to hit that like button everyone and if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel and also enable those notifications. This video is sponsored by MEI Travel. Feel free to reach out to me at cruisingwithjt at gmail.com and I'll get you connected to my travel agent at MEI Travel. She'll take great care of you and I'll also include that information in the description below. Thank you so much. All right guys, we're entering a brand new shop called Royal Bling. And as you can imagine, it's all about the Royal Bling. So we're talking about like very, very expensive items. I noticed that they don't put the price tag next to them. <laughs> Oh, is this the famous cup? Yes. This is the $100,000 cup. Oh my goodness. It's 234 carats of uh, zircon. It's plate and gold, so you can actually drink out of this cup. Oh my gosh. You're getting drinks for free for a lifetime. For $100,000. Just a little bit. <laughs> actually, it's a very good price and very good deal because in two years, <laughs> If you travel, most of the people here, and they come in a while, they come in at least two months, but, but uh, oh, okay. two times per month. Oh, wow, okay. In two years, you're going to pay off the cup. Oh, wow. That's a lot of cruising. A lot, a lot more like retired folks, I'm guessing, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. That's, that's, yeah. I was like, I wish I could cruise two times a month, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, and now, and now all of, you don't have one. All of this. No, you don't. You with the boom box? box. <laughs> that's so cool. Look at that boom box, guys. It's actually working. Yep. yep. Can you can you can you drop some beats? Let's 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 listen. Uh, we're not allowed to use because we're connected with the oh, uh, cheap speaker. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, okay. Look at this, guys. I and mean, this but is just so cool. amazing. Yeah, well, 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 well. So you guys heard that that this cup right here? It is a one hundred thousand dollars. Wow. I'll and this is all this is all real gold, right? So all, all this is very expensive, yeah, right? Oh, let's that, say very expensive. No, that's not the word. <laughs> not, not the but word this, for but it. this cup right here is hundred k, right? That's that's the same. price for men's is from three hundred fifty dollars. But the most expensive item is the cup, right? Yeah, that makes sense. So the is forty nine thousand eight hundred. Cup is hundred thousand. Which which one's forty nine thousand? This one's forty nine thousand. Sorry guys, this is about, might as well mm. say 50. dollars $50,000. It's so beautiful. Yeah guys, look at this, like gold tape. Like a gold, like a gold cassette, throw it back. Look at this, it's amazing. So like you mentioned that, that this is actually a boom box that works, a fully gold plated boom box. I don't even know how much that, ex how expensive that is. How, how, how much is the boom box? Where is she? Not sure with them. I gotta ask her. You yeah, guys, this is nuts. Hey, look at this. This is so impressive. There's gold bars and just the necklaces and everything. They don't show the prices on here. Actually, there's a tag there. I, I don't see a price on it. I mean, even even the, the mirror is like gold plated. That's awesome. Look at this. It's nice. That's the crown. This is the true definition of just looking. That's the crown of Jay's wants. He was asking the lady, she remembered me too, she decided. And she goes up to her. Amazing, guys. Look at this. I'm going to invite the kids to it. Why did you beautiful so guys thank you this is the royal bling shop on icon of the seas it is located in the aquadome and again i'm gonna end it here with this just most expensive item here again this is this right here is fifty thousand dollars and this right here is the most expensive item on the cruise ship the royal cup gold plated 240 karat of gold i mean that, that's expensive wow you buy this you have free drinks for life <laughs> Hey guys, this is so cool. Uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and appreciate your support. Thank you so much. All right guys, here is Crown's Edge, one of the new features on board Icon of the Seas. Uh, it does cost $90 and the experience lasts about 90 seconds, but if you're down for some thrilling experiences, you should definitely try it out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you what this experience is like, right? So I believe it is open right now. And I think they're getting folks strapped up and ready to go. Let's see here. Looks like they are getting folks up ready or maybe there's no one on yet. There we go. I think I see someone coming up. So again, this is on 
port side midship. And you'll see it's pretty cool. We have to go over here, maybe get a better perspective. The crown's edge. Basically, the floor below you opens up and then off you go. Looks like no one's doing it yet, but I'll try to come back when someone is doing it. But basically, you get strapped up and ready to go there. Then you walk across this bridge and you go through this kind of like a little obstacle course right here. Right, you see the obstacle course right here. So you walk on that platform, then you basically walk on each of these right here. And you go all the way around, you step on those little platforms that look like an X. And then you finally get to here. Once you're here, this part right here, this part falls down. This part falls down. And then you swing across on the track. And then you come all the way around to this part right here. And then you end up right here. And that is the crown bed experience. But again, pretty cool to do. Looks like someone is coming here. There we go. We'll get to capture this as well once they get ready. You can see here that this uh, guest is getting ready to go on the crown's edge, and it does take a little bit of time to get all strapped in and ready to go. Again, that'd be very, very secure. Because uh, also this is a pretty intense experience. Because you are you are literally going off the side of the ship, right? The track is off the side of the ship. So, watch this. There she goes. Alright, let's see how much goes and we'll get started for it. Alright, so we'll go ahead and walk to the gentleman over here. There she goes. Alright, slowly walking on this track here. You can see. Very nice. There she goes. <laughs> She's officially strapped in. And you can see there's a camera next to her as well. And now she's going on this side. She needs to zoom out a little bit. Check it out. Right, so now she's making her way on these platforms. Going on the X here as well. Now taking her nice pictures. Going on the X. Again, she's 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 strong on she's uh you know strapped in nicely. Right? So you can see she's walking across and now she's officially off the side of the ship. You can see this is the side of the ship right here. And now she's gonna be going on the last platform here before the other one will come out and then it'll drop down and there she'll go. There she goes. Alright guys, check it out. It's gonna drop right in front of her. <laughs> and then she's gonna swing around on the track. Here we go. There she goes. Look at that, she's going on the side. Look at that. Whee! That is so cool. Look at that. There she is. Nice. There she is. There you guys go. That's the crown's edge. Hope you like it. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Appreciate your support. And here's the adrenaline peak, which is the rock climbing wall. Right, again, it's complimentary. There's no cost to use this, but again, it's uh, if you're feeling like, you know, getting your uh, your uh, athletic abilities put to the test, then this is a great way to do it, right? You guys go up here and uh, climb up these wall walls and then uh, hit that bell up there. That is the adrenaline peak. Located on deck six forward is the fitness center. So this is where you want to come in get your gym on got treadmills and other elliptical machines as well i'm sure it's phenomenal so let's go ahead and check it out Love the entrance here got beautiful views of the ocean all right we're heading into the fitness center can't wait to show you more you see there's there's some bikes here with a nice view of the ocean absolutely beautiful and then over here we have looks like some classes some options that you can do here you got some free weights and some other uh, you know, stretching and uh, you know uh, their weights as well which is pretty cool very unique uh, design for the gym which is really cool it's something different right I love it and then on this side you have looks like maybe maybe some fitness consultations so you'd meet with the physical you know uh, fitness coach and they would work with you and oh wow look at this we go downstairs now I've never seen a two-story gym or a fitness center on a ship so this is pretty cool look at the beautiful views of the ocean guys wow look how big this is this is incredible i'm going to zoom out here so you guys can get a better perspective look at this wow you got your towels you got your elliptical machines here you got your stair climbers you got your treadmills back there Again, prime spot to get ocean view. Got some lockers here. You got some machinery. 
for your weights. Well, plenty of options here, guys. Wow. And you got your weights here, your dumbbells. Really nice. This is a very, very large gym. I've never seen a gym this big before on a cruise ship. Wow. This is incredible. You got your other bells here, barbells, dumbbells. More machines over here, ellipticals and treadmills. And then over here you got other machinery as well. But yeah, this is a very, very nice gym. Again, beautiful looking out towards the ocean. Kind of see just another perspective from here. Very nice. Check it out. You got windows right there. And then see how beautiful the view is. Imagine yourself on a cruise ship and you want to get your morning started, get the blood flowing a little bit. And then I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit so you can see the water. Look at that. That is epic. Beautiful. Got more towels right there. Yeah, this is a very nice gym, guys. Look at that. Ooh. I love it. All right, guys. Uh, so again, this is the fitness center located on deck six forward on Icon of the Seas. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. Surfside Eatery. This is a complimentary venue to have uh, some delicious food inside the Surfside neighborhood, as you can see here. This is a beautiful day. We're at sea today. It's absolutely amazing, guys. I mean, look at this. I love, 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 love this. And you have a gentleman right there helping out with the kids who playing some steel drums. So here we go. We're going to check out Surfside. I'm just going to do a quick video. Thank you. All right, guys, here's the Surfside Eatery Buffet. Let's see what options they have here. Hello. All right, so we got some corn salad. Again, this is another buffet on board the ship in addition to the wind jammer. So corn salad, potato salad, bean salad. Got some fruits, got some potatoes, gravy. Got some lasagna, Alfredo pesto, pasta sauce, some chicken toquitos, vegan penne bolognese, mac and cheese bites french fries, animal shaped chicken nuggets. So yeah, they got some good options here, right? So again, not as an extensive collection as the buffet upstairs at the Windjammer, but still a pretty decent option. They got chicken parmesan, grilled cod, Superman sliders, Spider-Man pizza. Look at that, oh, my daughter will love that if they do it again. And then you got some fruit options here. You got some desserts like cupcakes, Oreo cupcakes, cappuccino chocolate, fruit tart, chocolate bar, and of course you have your other goodies here that you can enjoy with your sprinkle. There's actually two sprinkles, one inside Surfside Eatery and one outside not too far from here. So get your ice cream and have some delicious toppings as well and uh, she'll take great care of you. Thank you so much. And over here you got beverage station. You got some juices, you got coffees there, you got some juices over here. And you can see here there's a plenty of seating here, right? And again, this place is not really busy. Uh, it's actually been pretty pretty low key, right? I've never seen this place busy. It's open at 3 p.m. to about 6 p.m. from my understanding. So again, I open for a couple of hours. And uh, yeah, this is the Surfside Eatery, guys. So definitely come check it out. I think the hours do vary, but I asked them, they said 6 p.m. So hours do vary. Definitely come check it out at the Surfside neighborhood. Again, this is the Surfside Eatery. Gotta love it. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. We got the carousel right here. Again, the, the vibe on Surfside is really something else, guys. You gotta love it. All right, there you go. Next up, we have Sugar Beach. Come by and sweeten your day. Look at that. Sugar Beach, here we go. And it, I love that these doors open for you. You don't have to worry about opening you know, door handles and stuff like that, but this is probably one of the most colorful venues on board the ship. Hello, how are you? Life is sweet for sure. If you have a sweet craving, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can get a full perspective. If you have a sweet craving, this venue will satisfy that craving. I guarantee it. Look at that. I mean, you got all sorts of selection here, guys. Let me just kind of zoom in a little bit. You got sour gummy loops, gummy strawberries, sour patch kids, cake batter bites, chocolate cookie dough, chocolate malt balls. Like, I mean, I could just, I mean, my daughter's gonna go crazy here. We'll definitely swing by here and have some. I think she'll really enjoy it. As if she's not gonna get enough sweet as it is on board. I uh, might get some extra, extra sweets here. I mean, look at these options, like guys. 
the, the crybaby tears, flower power, they got Reese's Pieces, they got berry blue bells, gummy filled whales, strawberry bells, like I mean you can just go on and on. The, the collection here is amazing. I'm gonna zoom out again guys, I know I keep going in and out, but just wanna give you a full perspective of how beautiful this is. Look at this. This is something else. Again, this is Sugar Beach. And it's really nice, you got, you got some uh, stuffed animals in here. You got a collection here. Look at that. Very nice. Mario and Luigi. You got like lollipops and stuff here. And on this side you have, uh, look at that. that's the biggest dum dum I've ever seen. Oh my God, my, my daughter would love this, even though it's not real. It looks really cool. I don't know, is this real? I don't know, is this a dum dum? Well, is that a real lollipop? It has a barcode on it. Oh my gosh, is that a real lollipop? Yeah, that's a real one. Yes, they said yes. That's massive. World's, la it's just a World's largest dum dum. <laughs> okay. I'm like, how much? That's like a sugar intake for a week. <laughs> hey, JT. Hi, how are you? I'm watching on oh, YouTube. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. What, what, what was your name? Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. It's going to continue here again. There's so much stuff here. Look at this. It's like sweet heaven. <laughs> you got stuffies here, really cool. And again, this is a sugar beach. And again, of course, as everyone was says, is life is sweet. There you go. Hi guys. So again, lots of candy here. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Now let's check out the Royal Theater, one of the largest venues on board, the beautiful icon of the seas. We are walking the Royal Theater. And there's a big production happening at this time. It's called The Wizard of Oz. And uh, it's a great opportunity to see the experience uh, and to showcase to you what the Royal Theater is all about. So just, this is the upper balcony. This is deck five. See a perspective from here. It's very nice. And then we're gonna go now to down to deck four, which is the main deck area for the theater. Here we are. It's a big production. You can see here, The Wizard of Oz. I'll show you guys the theater from this perspective so you get a full idea. You see The Wizard of Oz. It's uh, Royal Theater's been closed for the most part unless there's a show happening, so this is really the only time we can actually see the show, or the theater, that is the venue. But yeah, I just want to give you perspective here. Look how beautiful this is, guys. Look at this. Wizard of Oz is a, you know, uh, highly anticipated musical and Broadway show here on board and uh, definitely recommend making reservations as soon as possible because it does sell out pretty quickly so i highly recommend you book either in advance of your cruise or uh, right when you get on board via your royal caribbean app so again this is a really great show and uh, definitely recommend it and again this is the beautiful royal theater at this state-of-the-art venue there's all sorts of shows here you got the wizard of oz you got um Comedy shows, juggling shows, you name it. So, then again, you don't want to go too out there since the folks are getting their seat and situated. So, yeah, there you go. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. This is the Royal Fleet. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the Crown Lounge. Now, the Crown Lounge was previously known as the Diamond Lounge or the Diamond Club, but Royal Caribbean recently renamed it to the Crown Lounge. So, let's go ahead and check out this amazing venue. Here we go, the Crown Lounge. Let's go and check it out. See, here we got a nice little entrance and then here we have the concierge sits right there she's busy oh, wow look at this guys this is, i'm gonna zoom out so you can get a full perspective wow it smells so new in here look at this we got a nice area here again it looks like they're not they usually serve like some light bites and everything here but not right now it's about 9 p.m right so they do serve some good light bites as the food here. You see, you have this really, really fancy espresso machine. Right? Your coffee and hot cocoa. 
in here you got more <laughs> more experiences you got a nice little seating area here and more as well cool got a nice look at this things to do got a nice book collection you can see a gentleman right there is cleaning the the bar area very nice yeah it's a very nice seating area guys like this is a again the crown lounge on icon of the seas you got another tv on this side very nice so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna go over here and take a picture of how beautiful the space is so let's go over here Again, this is for Diamond, Diamond Plus, and Pinnacle members only. It's available for you know breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So great place to come and hang out, get away from the noise, get away from the crowds. Just take it easy and relax. That is what the Crown Lounge is all about. All right. So if you are, if you're higher up on the tier status for the loyalty membership on Royal Caribbean, known as the Royal Caribbean Crown and Anchor Society. Definitely go check that out. You can guys can see my wife right there checking out the coffee machine. <laughs> That's our first time here together. So I've not, I've not, I was trying to come here during the Icon welcome and preview event, but it was always closed for private functions. So this is my first time actually in the brand new Crown Lounge. So let's go check it out here, guys. I'm gonna do another walk around so you can see another perspective and angle. Here we go. As some folks have just left this area. But again, very nice areas to sit and relax because of beautiful decor. Again, once you make your way to Diamond, you will be having immediate access to the Crown Lounge. Again, they have light bites for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And again, a bar right there as well. They do serve complimentary drinks from what I recall. Uh, not all day, of course, but they do have some complimentary cocktails and beverages uh, in the evening from what I last heard at least. So, hey guys, this is the Crown Lounge on board Icon of the Seas. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, thank you for your support. Take care. All right, let's take a walk across the entire jogging track. And again, one of the coolest features that I love about this jogging track on board Icon of the Seas is that they have these spaces here on the side of the ship on the jogging track where you can just kind of chill out and relax. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me look at this. This is the jogging track right here. And you got these nice, you know, couches and stuff where you can just hang out and chill and see the beautiful ocean views. How awesome is that, right? So, okay, we're gonna take a nice long walk. <clears throat> and you'll see here as we continue that they have these, uh, you know, motivational messages. <laughs> so, let's see what it says here. This says, Cruiser crossing, slow it down. All right, so we're gonna keep walking. Let's we'll see how long it takes. And again, I don't walk super fast, but I walk at a decent speed. And again, if it gets really windy, guys, there's like a wind tunnel there, so just bear with me. I don't have my microphone here, but I'm just gonna showcase uh, to you guys what uh, walking on the jogging track feels like, All right? So I am jogging or I'm walking with you guys uh, together. So uh, this is the nighttime, I'm sorry, this is the daytime version of uh, the jogging track experience. And I'm hoping to do a nighttime version as well, which I'll either I've already posted or it'll be coming soon. So stay tuned. And here's the entrance right there. Just keep going this way. Keep running one way. <laughs> These messages are funny. <laughs> Exercising? <coughs> Excuse me. On vacation? <laughs> I love it. You know, a lot of times we're like, like, do you really go to the gym on a cruise ship? And I'm like, no. I just walk a lot. I don't take elevators all the time. Although I, I think I mentioned this in another video. I, uh, I love the destination elevators. They've done a really great job. I actually take the elevators because they're so efficient. You know, they're not jam-packed. I think the most folks that have had an elevator is like three, <laughs> right? You press the button where you want to go and then uh, you know, there's your elevator. So check it out, guys. Here's the lifeboat you can see here. It actually, hold, these are massive lifeboats. They hold 450 people. The other lifeboats I've seen on Oasis class ships, they hold about 300, 350 or so, right? This is 450, right? That's crazy. Got a nice little corner here, cuts through here. 
again part of all this construction stuff is still there's I, I think this might all be gone by the inaugural or maybe they're just kind of kept it here for now but we are getting to the aft of the ship and again this is my favorite view guys you guys know it right wake view best view again here comes the wind oh my goodness look how beautiful this is guys this is the ultimate spot to see the sunset hello The, the blue lights that's so cool look at that so this whole area here it's like never dark because of the blue lights will kind of you know again this jogging track this will all be gone i think by the inaugural i hope you know you don't want all this stuff sitting here again this is just the welcome event in uh, naming ceremony crew so they're not they're not ready for prime time yet but i think all this will be gone by the inaugural which is in two days look at this view guys the sun is setting Today is Tuesday, January 25th, 2024, two days before the inaugural cruise and maiden voyage on board Icon of the Seas. And again, just to prove that I'm on Icon of the Seas, in case you didn't know, there it is, Icon. All right, guys, let's continue. Sorry, my hand's getting tired. Okay, like I said, all this stuff that you see here, I'm going to guess that it's going to be gone. If it is gone, I might redo this video because I would prefer it without yeah so it's really windy there but again we're back here again just walking around the whole ship it does take some time there's no messages here on the other side though if you go backwards it does say wrong way and this is lifeboat 15. <clears throat> here's the inter uh, inside look at the main dining room which i've not been to right most of my dinners have been pretty pretty casual and not fast i think you know i don't spend a whole like hour and a half two hours to eat meals but i think when my family and i come on board on saturday i think we're gonna come here for at least uh the formal nights two nights you know we'll be all dressed up and stuff uh, i'll keep it business casual not super formal but but guys again we're just gonna keep walking I see a crowd up there we're walking together on the jogging track on the world's largest cruise ship. So slow to your left, fast to your right. I kind of think these lanes are a little small. Um, they don't seem like super wide from what I remember on Oasis class ships. Uh, looks like there's some kind of media event or something happening here. I'll go check it out. Look at this for you guys. It's so massive. Like, look at this. Just the, just the opening of. Yeah, looking out into the ocean is phenomenal. Right now we're just kind of uh, drifting on the off the coast of Florida, maybe near the Bahamas. You know, we're not getting back into Miami until tomorrow morning around six. So, <clears throat> and here's the other area that you can hang out and chill at. Part of the wind. Okay, I see the entrance right here. So you see this right here? Another area you can chill. So both sides have areas to kind of hang out and chill. Now again, this, uh, it's, uh, this is actually where you enter the ship. You guys recognize this entrance? Right? That's one of the main entrances, right? And here's the 1400 lobby bar. Guys, I'm gonna not talk here because there's something going on here. Looks like a group. So again, both sides have the area to kind of chill and relax and hang out. It's really nice. So yeah, it does take some time to go around the whole track. You know, I mean, you can imagine that it does. It's a very long, you know, ship. I think maybe it's like three, three laps or so. Maybe, maybe even four laps to go a mile. Again, here's the entrance to the internal inside of the ship right here. Okay. Then we're just walking together with the beautiful ocean, icon of the seas. 
450 people. Again, they have a lot of these boats, each of 450 guests. Uh, of course, it'll be kind of tight in there if you ever needed to use it, but you know, we never ever have to. And then they, they've done boat drills, they've tested all these out, they're brand new, like, again, they're massive, right? Like, and you have to have all of these boats just because the capacity on the ship is crazy. All right, let's go see science today, guys. It's gonna get really windy here, so pardon the wind. The hardest part's over. All right, here comes the wind tunnel. <laughs> I can see it, oh my gosh. Look over here. Oh my God, my hair's like sticking up. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so funny. Look like it, oh wow, this is a big time wind tunnel. Ooh, I'm gonna show you guys my turn here. And here we are. I'm gonna keep walking this way. We're almost at, at the beginning of where we were. Look at that. Again, the jogging track is great for you to come and hang out or take a nice stroll, get the beautiful ocean views. Great area to come and do some morning run. Sorry, it's really windy. Uh, you know, get a, get your blood flowing in the morning. And uh, you know, nothing beats uh, the ocean views. All that's kind of blocked by these like lifeboats. And more crew there. Here's another entrance. Yeah, my hair is like out of control right now. This is like the definition of cruise hair don't care. You guys want to see? Nice. Awesome. And we have officially made our way around. So I'll have to go back and see how long the video is, but I think it takes at least 10 minutes, if not longer. Uh, at least 10 minutes to go around the whole ship. And again, I'm going at a pretty decent speed, right? Um, I'm not walking like super slow. So, um, but this is where you can come and uh, enjoy the drawing track. And again, we are back to where we started. You can get some media right here, which is pretty cool. All right, guys. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Appreciate your support. And look, there's the pearl. I'm going to have to get inside here. I don't think there's an entrance on this side, but it's all good. Cool. I think there might be, I think, right here. Oh, there it is. All right, that's the end of the jogging trek video. Thank you again. The Empire Supper Club, you can see that they're getting ready for a fantastic evening. Yes, yes, yes. All right, guys, here you go. Hey, all, cruising with JT here. Yeah, so I couldn't record much of the Empire Supper Club because they're getting ready for dinner, but I wanted to thank you again for watching my four-part series of my full cruise ship tour of Icon of the Seas. And be sure to hit that like button, everyone. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel and also enable those notifications. And a special shout out to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much for your additional support. If you'd like to become a Patreon or YouTube member, I'll include the links in the description below. It's basically a behind the scenes view of Cruising with JT and special access to various benefits and perks and inside information into my upcoming videos. So if you do decide to join, I truly appreciate your support. <laughs>